The U.S. Army is going robotic, folks. By 2039, one-third of our armed forces will be machines, according to retired Army General Mark Milley. Imagine a military where every third soldier is a robot. It's like a sci-fi movie, but it's happening. During a talk at the Future of Defense event, General Milley hinted that as we embrace robotic systems, the number of human soldiers might dwindle. He predicts that other countries will follow suit, turning their armies into a mix of flesh and steel. But what kind of robots are we talking about? From autonomous drones buzzing in the air to robodogs with machine guns strapped to their backs, the military is diving deep into robotic tech. These bots aren't just for show. They're designed to gather intel, evacuate the wounded, and even fight. The army is even experimenting with human machine teams, where soldiers and robots train and fight side by side. Meanwhile, the Air Force is pairing up fighter planes with combat drones. General Milley also mentioned the Game Changer, combining robots with quantum computing and artificial intelligence. This tech trifecta could lead to some major shifts on the battlefield. But let's pause and ponder. With unmanned tanks and pilotless fighters making lightning-fast decisions, are we tiptoeing towards a world of killer robots? And who's watching the watchbots? General Milley believes that the nation that masters these technologies will have a leg up in conflicts. But here's the big question. As we forge ahead with these high-tech warriors, what are the moral and ethical implications? Should we be creating robots that can kill? And what steps need to be taken to ensure peace in a world where machines can wage war? So, as we march towards a future filled with robotic soldiers, let's keep asking the tough questions. What does it mean for humanity when our protectors are made of metal and code? And how do we ensure that the rise of the robots doesn't lead to a fall in our ethical standards?